Hello folks and welcome. Regato OS 24. This video was requested by a subscriber. The subscriber asked me to go uh, take a look, uh, see at this uh, OS. It is a gaming type of um, KDE Plasma version. 6.0.5. KDE Plasma 6 is still evolving and uh, so you'll probably see some changes down the road also. It uses a 6.8 series kernel. It's fairly advanced. You can see my hardware information now. You can download Regato OS 24 in two flavors, uh, one with the without the NVIDIA graphics driver or one with. I will make mention of that. I'll talk a little bit about the installer, what the minimum requirements are. And again, this is geared mostly toward gamers. Hence, I'm filming in 4K today. Just wanted to remind you of that little logo up there. So uh, adjust your YouTube player accordingly, but I'm filming in 4K, 200% scaling. I will be giving you a demo on a game that I have brought in from a hard drive and not installed. So you can see that particular thing and uh, you can see the responsiveness. Again, I'm filming in 4K. Welcome folks. Subscription key is in the corner if you like to subscribe. All right, let me first talk about Regatta if you don't know too much about this distro. I'm going to DistroWatch to um, explain a little bit about this system. I'll make this a little bit bigger for you. So Regatta OS is out of Brazil. It's based on OpenSUSC, 64-bit KDE Plasma, version 6 currently. It's uh, geared toward gaming. Popularity, I don't use. But I like the way the layout is for DistroWatch regardless of that information. Um, one of the things that I also like about DistroWatch is that it culminates data like that. This was the previous version. Uh, that would be January 29, 2024. The current version is 6.5. Today's date is 6.15. So that was done about a couple of weeks ago. So basically uh, 10 days ago. All right, so let's move on regattaos.com.br Brazilian so Portuguese to English translate the uh, particular um, distribution regatta OS 24 is called nickname Arctic Fox and I'll give you the minimum specifications if you want to play and there they are again minimum specifications minimum all right so also please note there's the administrator password if you need that all right, you have two flavors for this download. I have the with or without the NVIDIA driver. I chose with because I got an NVIDIA. There's also a list of supported products. Now, my NVIDIA graphics cards, which you will see also in here. I'll show you the model number a little bit later. And uh, you'll see that uh, it is not the top of the line, but it runs fairly well. All right, so I use that. What, what was the expected time? Somewhere between six and eight minutes. For the download it, uh, maybe a little bit less but anyways I burned that onto a USB stick the MD5s are both here and um, my experience with the installer is this the um, regatta logo which down here you can see that blue logo was on the screen for I want to say a, almost two minutes is loading services uh, seemed a little slow to me but again this is Plasma 6. So uh, after that, it went through the installer. Um, I want to say it spent maybe five to six to eight minutes, somewhere in that range. And then it did a reboot. Then the personal creds got put in. In other words, user and password. Now, what the one thing I disliked about um, that particular screen is it had auto login on by default. Now, if you know anything about uh, me and my previous channel, I'm not fond of auto logins at all for Linux. So I, I think that ought to be an option and not something that is automatically selected for you. Auto logins is poor security. Someone can just turn on your computer and you're logged into a user. That's of course if you care. But uh, in either case, I think uh, the developer ought to rethink that. I think the auto login should be selected by the person installing the system just my take on it. The other thing occasionally what you'll notice is not this is not Regatta OS 24's problem. 
is sometimes these NVIDIA graphics cards, depending on the model, sometimes when you log out will give you a black screen. It is something that uh, has been a bug for a while and a lot of people are always looking for the magic bullet is why this thing goes black. I believe it's in the driver. But uh, more importantly, I have never seen that on an open source driver. And uh, also, um, it seems to be more prevalent with, with the um, plasma desktops because I haven't really noticed that with others like GNOME or XFCE or any of those using NVIDIA graphics cards. All right, moving along. So let's take a tour. Again, filming in 4K. Adjust your YouTube player if necessary. Let's go take a peek at the menus and uh, we have Firefox, Dolphin, the Regatta OS store where you can get an office suite because there's none here installed. Um, you can find all kinds of software. I will open that in a minute. System settings, I already gave you the particulars in the front. I'll give you one more peek, scrolling down to the bottom. All right, so again, NVIDIA graphics card, you can see the model number there. It's a four gigabyte video card. However, I will present that information in a better details for you. That's done with Max-Q. There's also a setting in Max-Q that turns off widgets. All right, VLC, Game Controller, Ocular Document Viewer, Regatta OS Game Access. I also have a game to demo for you that I brought in from a hard drive that's not installed in these menus. I'm going to demo that for you in 4K to let you see the responsiveness. You can find that game in this area here. There's a shortcut downstairs. Here is Steam and Regatta OS support. There's a couple of tools in there for you. Walking through the rest of the menus, Kate, the Advanced Text Editor, Games, Graphics, Internet, Multimedia. I installed Simple Screen so I can bring you this video. I'm filming in the X11. Yes, you can log out of it into the Wayland if you like. All right, so there's another thing about NVIDIA. I'll open it up here. 550 driver, and you can see how much memory I have in here. I'll show you to you in a different way also. All right, so moving along, here's system. There is a scroll bar here and utilities. The uh, spectacle tool, I was looking at this on a different distribution of KDE version 6. And it, when you're in the Wayland environment, there is an extra tab on that particular one. I haven't tried it on this version, which does record video without sound without sound. I think it's WebEx and I want to say MP4 is also available on that. But again, I haven't tested it in this version. Now, if you've been following some of my videos in the last six months, I've been showing how to make power icons, instantaneous power off and restart. Well, that's what they have here. These are instantaneous. They do not ask questions. It restarts the computer and it powers it down. So save your work before you click these. You don't have a second chance. It doesn't ask you to, are you sure? It just starts shutting down. All right, so a little bit of quickness there. Let me open this max queue up and let you see the settings so we can discuss this. This again is a gaming platform, filming again in 4K. By the way, if you are in 1920 by 1080 and you click this icon, it automatically switches if your monitor is native 4K resolution. That's what it did on mine. My 43 inch is native 4K. The lock widgets is here. When you unlock that, you'll be able to right click on your panel, for instance, to add widgets if you would like those. It's got performance gauges uh, in percentages. This is uh, GPU, your graphics card, frequency, VRAM, frequency, CPU usage, temperature, frequency, RAM. How much is in use, how much you have total, and percentages. NVIDIA Drivers 550.78 is what I'm using. The graphics card I have currently on this system 
is an NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1050 Ti, not the top of the line. And uh, the memory on board is four gigabytes, representing by 4096 MB. Operation, uh, I'm sorry, op operational system or operating system is uh, Regato OS 24 Arctic Fox. System memory installed, 31 gigs. CPU is an AMD Ryzen 7 5700 core. Mesa driver is 9, OpenGL is 4, 6 and change, and Vulkan is 1.3 and change. The API for that. Linux kernel is 6.8 series. Hopefully that's enough. This is max Q. If you are already in 1080, my experience with this, when you open this up, it automatically switched to 4K because my monitor is 4K. All right, moving along. I can either open this here or we can go downstairs, but we're going to start with that. And the logo is not here, by the way. I just wanted to remind you, this is Regarda KDE Plasma 6. So let's click the store. So if you're looking for, let's say, an office suite or whatever, just start typing. All right, here are some examples. And if you like Libre, there's an example of that. Here's the Discover section. So if you're looking for GIMP, for instance, I, all of my uh, videos on LFS, um, the thumbnails were all done with GIMP, if you're curious. I also use this to make icons and uh, resizing and converting images from all kinds of stuff. They're nice little tools. Anyways, install this there. So you can see there's lots of things in here. Very nice layout. Actually, I kind of like this store. All right, here is the Regatta OS Game Access. And um, I believe most of these you need to click and it'll install separate categories. So with Amazon Games, it's log into Amazon Games, install Amazon Games. Um, I'll just click on a couple of these things. You can see that it says uh, Epic there, and this is EA. So as soon as I click that, you know, it's EA app is not installed. Just giving you some examples of what this looks like. Closing that, I will give you an example of a game in a second, but I'm going to continue finishing the panel. So uh, I will come back to Dolphin, uh, pretty much standard settings in there. Firefox, I'm going to skip over. I think that's self-explanatory. So we have uh, notifications and uh, there are some updates available, which I am not going to click on. All right. So basically, um, this stated that it finished those 77 updates a while ago. Um, I'm not sure if that's a a leftover message or not, but I'm going to skip over that. Clipboard, um, volume thing, Bluetooth thing, microphone thing, wireless thing, multifunction. Okay, so you got notifications, vaults, brightness, disk. Display configuration can also be found by right clicking on your screen. Simple calendar and right clicking on the screen. Here's some of the Default to wallpapers. I will enlarge that for you and close. All right, so this is pretty much standard plasma stuff. So I'm really not going to get into that. Now I'm going to uh, give you an example of a game. Volume is going to be dropped to 60. Hopefully it won't be too loud. It doesn't matter if I click the home folder or just open it from here. Uh, I have this from my demo drive, and then I moved it over to downloads. This Exonotic game can be found in the store. Probably the updated version is in there, but this is the older version, um, and there is an update. You'll see a, a yellow box popping around. This, again, what am I filming in? One more time as a reminder. I'm opening that up. 3840 by 2160 at 200% scaling. I will now enter the game. I will open up the GLX 64 because on my machine is a 64 bit. So hopefully the sound is not going to be too blaring. I'll let you see the settings. I toned down some of that sound earlier. So this music kind of can get to you at some point, but 
I'm filming at 3840 by 2160. So the game is running in full screen. Now you can see that yellow box floating around to tell you there's an update. Uh, anyways, it's got a multiplayer. I'm just going to do the offline thing. So if you're bored, you can add yourself some bots. All right, I'm going to use this one as the example and just open this briefly and let you uh, get a bird's eye view of what this thing looks like. This game is free and uh, I will walk through some of their weaponry. Let me get into an area where it's a little bit lighter color. Okay, so this again, I am filming in 4K. It's a little bit more responsive in 1080, but it's not too bad in 4K. I'm gonna switch. Now it's the yellow boxes reminding me there's an update. Brightness and everything else can be controlled. Just giving you some examples of some of the weaponry that's in here. This is a nice little toy. You can actually see that right through the site. You can see that it does work and it has a magnifying glass on it. Launcher. I don't know if you call that a ray gun or... And this one is kind of cute. A little loud too. Exiting the game. Again, this is free. Exonotic. Strange name. Again, I believe you can find that also in the Regatta OS game. I'm running it directly off the hard drive without it being installed. So stuff that you can know, it's like that. All right. So again, the only thing that I noted on this uh, distribution was uh, this updater appears to be a redundant update. And um, it was a little slow when it was booting up during the first installation. But it seems to be fairly responsive, and this is just my initial take on this thing. And I think I gave you enough information on what the website is, if in case you want to test drive it yourself. Thank you for watching.